Lovable. Kind of quirky looking. Medium sized white dogs with spots all over. And the spots are really, really all over. Spots everywhere. In fact, if you open their mouths, <laughs> you might be surprised to see that they actually have spots in their mouths. But guess what? When they're born, they have no spots. Dalmatians are actually born all white, and then the spots develop as they mature. You know, they're cute, they're mascotish. Believe it or not, George Washington was the first breeder for Dalmatians that we know of in the United States. The Dalmatian. It's the dog famous for riding along on the fire truck. I would have to guess that firemen like to hang out with Dalmatians because they are great attention grabbers. Most firemen grab my attention anyway, but... It's the dog hanging with the Clydesdales, protecting the beer. And it's the dog who hit the big time with Disney's 101 Dalmatians movies. But with the Dalmatians' fame came a price. Owners getting the dogs thought they would be just like the sweet, loving creatures they saw in the movies. But guys, that's Hollywood. There was a lot of indiscriminate breeding, sort of puppy mill type stuff. There are issues with temperament and uh, aggression. But not all Dalmatians are problem dogs. With the right breeding and training, these eye-catching animals can be great pets. The Dalmatian's origins are actually a little bit hazy. It's a really ancient breed. Some people think that it may go all the way back to Egypt. In the beginning, those polka dot hounds were bred as war and guard dogs. This is one of the, well, I think the only breed of dog that was bred for what they call coaching. They would run alongside the stage coaches and they would clear the crowds out of the way. These society dogs went from protecting rich people in horse-drawn carriages to protecting horse-drawn fire trucks. Although they don't run along the sides of fire trucks anymore, they basically are wonderful mascots for the firehouse. For a few reasons, these dogs really stand out. First, very obvious, the spots on their coats, which range from the size of a dime to a half dollar. Ever wonder how many spots the dogs can have? Well, that can vary too, from just a few to almost total spot coverage. Another cool quality, their stocky body and strong muscles, which give them the power to run and run for miles on end. They're very, very active dogs. In fact, if you're a jogger or a runner, a Dalmatian is going to hit the spot. They do like to run away, and they have what's called selective hearing. So you can say, come, come here, come here, and they just don't hear you. Yep, these dogs can be independent and stubborn. But don't be fooled. These rambunctious hounds are super smart. They're amazing dogs, and they're really intelligent. And because they're really intelligent, they seem to sometimes think that they know that they're boss and not you. So you just have to make sure that you start early, consistent, patient training when they're puppies. Good puppy. Full-grown 40-poundish Dalmatians are sort of cat-like in cleanliness with little grooming. And if you decide to get a Dalmatian, ask for a raise because these dogs can have health issues. Bladder stones can cause a lot of problems, so they need to be fed a special diet. But most importantly, if you do get a Dalmatian, make sure these bundles of energy fit your lifestyle. In general, Dalmatians need lots of running room. They can have health issues like deafness. Dalmatians are easy to groom and trainable, can make good family pets for active families. <laughs>